very used in the Amari. Mm -hmm. As concerned, the carbon and the diadesic, they are two commercial grade of uh, repreg and of repreg that are used in uh, aeronautical application. In particular, they present, they are based on epoxy resin and they present the same, uh, they need the same thermal cycle for curing. This is important, especially for uh, the curing uh, process. The first uh, step for producing uh, the specimen is the printing of the of the core, the course. We have uh, used an ABM machine. First of all, by using the software of the machine that is the materialized, the machine is an ACAM. We have uh, defined the, the dimension of the cells in the software and then the software automatically has uh, created the shape of the uh, of the core and has created also the part program for the machine. Then we have uh, prepared the machine for the run, for the cleaning run. Um, so we have filled the, the service on, on the forward. Then we have reset the, the machine in, uh, in such a manner that uh, the work cycle could be started. After the printing operation, we have to, we have to, um, to clean the course from the excess of powder by using, of course, an, uh, a pressurized dry gel and then an uh, ultrasound part for a perfect cleaning of the, of the course. And this is an example of the user. Then we have to add the skins. According to the first process, the curing, we have prepared the, the, both the prepreg strips and the adhesive strip. The adhesive is a film adhesive, it's not a pass adhesive. Uh, these uh, raw materials were cut at the uh, final dimension of the specimen. Then this material were buried on the core. We have added also a dam, a lateral dam to avoid the movement, the relative movement. And then we have cured both the, uh, the adhesive and the, the prepreg in a single thermal cycle in the outlay using the, the, the traditional lagoon bed process. And this is an example of the producer specimen. Following the other process, so the boiling, we have prepared the, the prepreg. In this case, the laminate that was produced was, uh, was bigger, so the plies were cut bigger because uh, we cured the, the laminate and then we cut the skins, the, mm, the pieces for the skins from a bigger laminate that was already cured. Then uh, these, uh, uh, these skins were bonded uh, on the, uh, the courts using once again the lagoon bed process so we have this twice uh, use of the outlay and these are these are an example of the producer specimens as concerned the testing we have considered the, the three point bending test the uh, distance between the supports was 155 millimeters and the log speed was 5 millimeters per minute the, um, this uh, uh, test and the width of the factor of the, of the specimen. In this graph, uh, we have uh, an example of two tubes, two specimen, one the procured and the other one is the border. We can see that the mechanical behavior is more or less the same. In fact, the initial linear uh, trend is uh, almost the same, also the, the, the slope of this trend, of this load displacement trend that represents the, the rigidity of the material is the same. We can see that after a first load drop given by the, the factor of the first layer of, of fiber, there is a, 
a further increment of load followed by a sudden, uh, a sudden drop of the load. After this sudden drop, mean load drop, the, um, the residual resistance is, is very low. So we can consider here the main of the, the specimen. You can see that also the maximum load and the, the load of first breakage is more or less the same. There is about 10% uh, of difference between the two specimens. So from a mechanical point of view, these two processes are more or less um, compatible. We have carried out also an investigation on, uh, of uh, micrographs taken on the fractured specimen. We can see that for uh, the bonded specimen on the upper surface can observe the crushing of the skin given by the compressive load, while on the opposite surface, the lower surface, you can observe the failure given by the tensile load. As concerned the lattice core, the FDM treated core, you can observe a total factor, both in the center of the specimen and in the, in the bottom of the specimen. We can observe a total factor, in fact there are dimples, especially in the lower zone, here the dimples are less evident because the stress field is different. Here we have a pure tensile load with the difference of, of triaxial stress. We have carried out uh, some investigations also on the peculiar specimens. We can observe the skin crushing also, in this case, even if the crushing is less salient, we have observed also the tensile failure on the opposite surface. And uh, I mean, it's OK. This is the last, uh, the last slide. And also a tile failure of the core. <coughs> the core it's the, it's the, it has been produced in the same manner of the of the other specimens so to step. The failure of mode is the same. So concluding, we have investigated two different processes. The mechanical behavior that we have found is more or less the same, also the fire mode. So we can conclude that procuring should be preferred because it's easy because of its easiness. In fact, we need just a passer in the outlet and it is, it is uh, suitable for complex chain parts. We don't need an additional mold for cutting the skin. So, it's better under this point of view. This was my slide. Thank you for your attention. Yes, uh, did you treat the surfaces in any, uh, in any special way, especially for the bonded uh, components? Titanium surface and the uh, uh, FTR composite surface. Pre preparation of yeah. the. How did you. No, they, they were uh, cleaned from the dust, from the cover. You just wiped it? Yes. Nothing else. Also with uh, ultrasound. Yeah, okay. And then they were bonded. In and, what cases? And why do you say you have a ductile failure in the core? It looks to me you have a very little failure from the low displacement. Yes, uh, uh, but. Uh, Indeed, the, the uh, main stress is carried out by the skin, by the, the lower skins. So the, um, we have observed this uh, ductile failure that uh, these dimples demonstrate the ductile failure of this uh, of this uh, specimen. Probably because the main load is carried out in this case by this uh, load configuration is carried out by the skins. So for this reason, we have also observed this, uh, this kind of uh, our Thank you.